Hello there, this is James, your tactical manager here at Panadoc. And today is June 2nd, 2016, and this, vi this video will be discussing the Nutshell integration with Panadoc. So what does this integration do? This integration will allow you to create, send, and track quotes, proposals, and contracts from within Nutshell. You'll be able to start the document creation process from leads, contacts, and organization objects in Nutshell. Lead records with all your custom fields and contact information as well as product information will flow into your document seamlessly. So before we get started, you want to make sure that you have a Pandoc account. You can sign up right here. And next, we need, need to install the Pandoc Chrome extension for Nutshell. So let's go ahead and do that now. All we need to do is click the link. It's going to take us into the Google Chrome store. We need to click is Add to Chrome, then click on Add Extension. Once installed, it will show up here in the right top right-hand side of a Google Chrome browser. And close that up. Next, let's go back to the FAQ. So let's go and get access to Nutshell, and I can show you where we can create the document uh, process from. So here we are inside of Nutshell, and we can do this as part of companies. I'm going to open up an example co uh, company here, and over here on the right hand side, the Paradox module load, as you see right here. We can also do this from people. So here's an example uh, person as well. Pro extension will show up here on the right hand side and we can also do this from leads as well. So here's an example of a lead uh, that we have inside of Nutshell and over here is the Paradox module. Let's go back to the FAQ. So next we need to talk about is how we can pass information from Nutshell over to Panadoc. And we do that, th we do that by two different ways. We use Panadoc roles and tokens. So let's go in, into a t uh, Panadoc template real quick, and I'll discuss the Panadoc rules. So here we are in a template I have created for, this nu uh, for the Nutshell integration. And here is some information over here on the right-hand side. We're going to click on Roles. And you notice I have a role here called Decision Maker. When you create roles, you can go to Content, and then Tokens, and you'll see that four tokens were automatically created based upon that Decision uh, Maker role. And in turn, we've... Uh, clicked on each one of these and we add this information right here. So this is going to pass over the first name, last name, email address, and account name or company information from Nutshell as part of a deal. We also have lead uh, tokens. So these are all the ways we could pass information via tokens. Uh, so here's lead token, for example. Here's some company information tokens that we've used. And also, if you're creating a document from contact, you can also use these contact tokens to pass that information over. Now, we have two ways in order to provide you these tokens. First is in the FAQ, and if you scroll down all the way through this, you're going to see a list of all the tokens, so right here. So you can simply highlight this token, right-click and copy. Or inside of Nutshell, um, over inside the module, over here on the right-hand side, we can go into the gear icon, and we go into tokens, and once again, here are all of the tokens that we could use. And in turn, we can take this one, copy it, and then turn add that into our Panadoc template. Also, we have the great ability inside of for Nutshell deals is that we can pass over the product information. So you notice that I have a product right here called Nutshell Classic that's been added to my deal. If we go back into the Panadoc template, we scroll down, and you notice that I have created a pricing table right here as part of the pricing table block. Over here on the right-hand side, here's all the pricing table uh, settings that we can have. And we scroll down, and we're going to have this on-off selection called right here. And this will allow this information to be sent over from Nutshell to Panadoc. So let's go ahead now and give this a try and uh, pass this information over. So here we are in Nutshell once again as part of this deal. Here's the organization information. Here's the uh, contact associated. And once again, here's the product information associated with that. All we need to do is quickly click on Create New Document. This is going to take us into Panadoc. We go ahead and choose the template that we're going to be using for today. So for our example, we're going to use this Nutshell integration template. The very first thing it's going to pass is going to talk to you about is this roles. So we talked about that, and we notice that this is the contact associated with uh, the deal. But we also have the owner of the deal, so you can pass that over as well. So we're going to click on Joe Bob Jones, and now he, this person is association to the, the decision maker role. We click on Start Editing, and it's going to take us into the template here. As we scroll down, here is the role information that was passed over, as we discussed. Here is the lead information tokens that have been passed over, and here is some of the company information. Uh, not any of the contact information, because remember, this has to start from the contact object inside of Nutshell. 
However, deal information will pass over as you see. And as we scroll down, here is our uh, pricing table that uh, passes this information over with that product from Netshell to Paradox. Now, at the document level, of course, we can go ahead and add other blocks of information we wanted to. We can add fields of information to capture information from our recipients. Over here on the right-hand side, we also have a content library, which is available for a business and enterprise plans. And this is a really a great way if you want to simply uh, drag and drop existing content that you have created in the past and drop it over. But let's say we're all ready to go to get this document sent out. All we need to do is click on Send. We have a document name screen come up here. And let's do an example uh, for Joe. And then we go ahead and click on uh, Save and Continue. Here's the send document message screen. We can add additional message here if we wanted to. We click on send document. And it's going to refresh the screen here. It's going to tell us this document has been sent, as you can tell the status right here. Now, if we close this out, this is going to take us back into Nutshell. And in turn, here's this uh, new document that we just sent out. And in turn, you can track the status of this. So when it's been sent, when it's been viewed or opened by recipients, and of course, when it's been completed as well. So this is the Nutshell integration with Panadoc. It's a fantastic integration. As always, if you do have any questions, concerns, please reach out to us, and we'll do our best to take care. Thank you much, and have a great day. Bye-bye.